Hi everyone. So I wanted to do a little overview of my deck collection. I have three Oracle decks and one Tarot deck. And so if you notice the sizes are very different. Oracles tend to be bigger, not all the time, but most of the time they tend to be larger. And yeah, to me, Tarot has a specific system. However, I personally don't read reverse cards. Not yet, anyway. I, I may eventually. And then the Oracle cards, they have booklets. This one didn't come with a booklet, but these have booklets to give you some meanings, but I tend to do it also more intuitively of what's going on with the cards. So let me just start with my self-care Oracle deck. So this is my self-care Oracle deck, and this I got from Goddess Provisions, which is the unboxing I do pretty much every month. And... I do love the cards. I like using them for when I don't know what to do with self-care or anything like that. I, this for this deck, I tend to only pull one card. Sometimes I will pull a few cards uh, to get like an idea for the next few weeks if I want to plan out my self-care that way. So there's different ways to use this and I do like them except they feel kind of weird to me. They don't feel like they feel kind of, I don't know, like they're too matte for me, but they get pretty stuck. So that's my only issue with them. Um, I did see somewhere that this does come with a digital guide, but I never received it. I did ask for it and I still didn't receive it. So I kind of just go with it. They're not that hard to read, honestly. I just wanted the guide to see if they had other ways to use it. Like for example, what's this one? Use your hands. So I kind of just grab one here and there and every now and then I will grab one card and I'll leave it somewhere where I see it all the time until I do it, then the card goes back in my deck. So that's how I use these. There's a few examples if you want to see examples. I just pulled three of them, I don't even know what they say. Oh, build strength, so like working out or something like that. Um, connect with the moon and deep breathing. And if you're wondering why it took me a while to read that, it's because the way I'm looking at my camera they're backward. <laughs> so I was like, well, what does that, yeah, I, know, I got it, but it's a little difficult. Uh, but yeah, these are really cute. I really do like them. I like the artwork on them too. So the next deck I want to talk about is actually my favorite deck. <laughs> I'll just be honest. It is my favorite deck. It did come with a booklet, which I really do appreciate because it gave me information to start off. And now I, I don't need the booklet as much, I would say. But these cards, first of all, they feel so good. They're like, um, I'm not good with ex describing feelings, but they feel good. <laughs> They're glossy, but not too glossy. This is an Aries card. So for this deck, it has Zodiac, Elements, and if I'm lucky, <laughs> that was pretty good. I didn't plan it that way. Uh, and Planets. So there are four element cards, 12 zodiac cards, nine planets. Uh, if you, as you just saw, they do reckon, this deck does recognize Pluto as a planet, which I do love. Let's not argue about Pluto right now. <laughs> Pluto is one of my ruling planets. The other ruling planet is Mercury. And yeah, I mean, the artwork on here is so gorgeous. This is Virgo, which that's my sun sign. So gorgeous. I love all of it. It's Libra. Hi, this is Christy. I'm editing this right now, and I wanted to just jump in and talk about the, I would say, negative, and those that's with air quotes, <laughs> aspects of these oracle cards. Not every oracle card has a shadow side or negative aspect of it, but these do, and it's more of an be aware type of avoidance type. So for example, with Libra, it's to avoid indecisiveness. So sometimes if I do grab one upside down, I may go straight to the avoidant side of it, um, of what to avoid rather, and also any more negative or maybe overdrive parts of that sign. So it gives me that idea too. The other ones, the planets don't really have that. And the elements, I don't believe either have that. So you can pair your knowledge of any card you have in here and kind of flip it or use the book. So I really do, again, appreciate that book. And if you want a slower flip through, just let me know and I can I can film that, that's fine. Pisces is really pretty. This is air, 
show you another planet and then I'll move on to another deck. Um, where is Mercury? I like Mercury. Neptune's really good. Mm -hmm. Mercury, where'd you go? I'll show you Jupiter then, because I don't know where Mercury went. It's Jupiter. So it's they're, the artwork is beautiful. Um, you can go with the art. You can go with what it is. Like Jupiter is a very like protective, expansive type of planet. Um, they have the symbols and the number of the cards are kind of like if you want to put them in order. They start with the zodiac, then the planets, then the elements, I believe. Yes, that's how they go. So I do love this deck, and this booklet is very helpful either for starting out or if you're having like any brain glitches you're like wait what what does this one do because I have to learn about the planets the signs I pretty much get but the planets I have to learn quite a bit about so my next deck is the goddess guidance oracle cards by Doreen Virtue who I believe is no longer making cards this is one of, this was my first oracle deck I honestly I keep having this feeling of gifting it to somebody because I don't connect with them as much anymore um, I do like the artwork, I do like the meanings, every now and then I'll pull one if I need to, you know, if I feel like I need to, but I don't connect with them as much as I did before. This has, like, historical goddesses, but it also has some very notable women in history, and it just depends, because a lot of people will say someone in here is not a goddess, but some people may say that she is a goddess. Um course I picked one that I can't pronounce so let me try another one. Guinevere for true love and for these cards it has a name of who it is, a theme, and a little either quote or saying or something. So for Guinevere, the romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Now not everybody would say that she's a goddess but some people might. They have some Egyptian goddesses in here. And sometimes for these cards, either I will go with what I know about them and I kind of intuitively read that way. I go with the theme or I read the message because sometimes I feel like I need the message. Or I'll go with the imagery or I will use the booklet because there is a booklet. And I do like this booklet because it gives a little history, a kind of like guidance with that. So, I mean, it's a pretty decent sized booklet too. So it's very helpful. I'll just show you a few more. Let's just grab three. So those are those cards. And my last deck is a tarot deck. And I do love this deck. Um, it is a little hard to read though, only because every card, I believe every card, I'm trying to think. Almost every card is female. So the kings and the queens are female. It's more, I believe they, I forgot what they call them. It's like high priestess and something. I think it's queen and high priestess. Oh, elder. I think it's elder. I lost the booklet, so I don't know exactly what they call them, but I do know I use the, the symbols and stuff to look it up when I'm like, wait, what? Who? <laughs> Who is this? They do have some male characters, but that tends to be either for the knight, the emperor, I believe is a male character, uh, but mostly it's female in here, which can get a little confusing when you're trying to learn the cards. So I wouldn't necessarily say this is a beginner deck because it throws that curveball in there, but I love the imagery. Um, it helps me read them. And like, for example, this is the Empress. Really pretty. And let's pull out some other ones. I do like the strength card. And then sometimes they're not exactly what they are. I believe this is the moon, but I could be wrong. So I, I honestly, for some of them, I have to keep looking them up because the imagery doesn't always match what I think it is for this deck sometimes. Um, there are all sorts of ways right now. There's another major. Here's the, I believe this is the Wheel of Fortune. This is the Fool, which is really pretty, actually. Um, there's the Knight. So this is the Emperor which I actually pull quite often when I'm doing like a love spread because this is always sold the Aries card and Jason's an Aries, so I guess that makes sense. 
but this for example the seated ones that are older i believe are the elders and they are the kings when you're looking at anything somewhere this is the tower and yeah i do really love this deck it just kind of confuses me sometimes so i have to look things up quite often but you know it is what it is i i'm, st I'm still learning about some of this stuff in the sense of reading them quickly i do i can read them sometimes it just takes me a while to be looking at everything i do think if i had a different deck i could be faster because of what i meant before it's a little confusing i don't know why i mixed them up like this it was very bad and what's funny is that i lost this deck for a while <laughs> it was just gone i couldn't find it and then i found it and i was very happy when i found it but like it was just gone <laughs> um but yeah, I mean, I use, let's see which ones I use more often. I probably use this the most often because I, first of all, I love Oracle decks. Obviously you can see that, but I just love the imagery on here. It's easy for me to read because I know about elements, planets, and Zodiac. So it's just pretty easy for me to read. This is my next used deck. If I'm doing spreads, that is, I do spreads with this one too. And this is now my least used deck. It used to be my most use deck and then this i just use pretty much as needed just because i use it for self-care ideas or like i know i feel like i need to do something and i don't know what to do so grab a card from here and yeah those are my only ones so far i am looking at other ones i just haven't decided if i wanted to get more because i'm pretty happy with these they all do something different for me um yeah, I would say they pretty much do something different for me. This, it gives me, like, overview of things. This is... Sometimes I actually use this a lot when I need to dig deeper. And then this one I tend to use when something's, like, almost at the surface and I'm not sure what it is. And then this is for self -care. So <laughs> I use them all for slightly different things. And then I will also use them in conjunction with each other. So if I do a spread here and I need to clarify something I may pull a card or two from here or from here so if you would like more information on any of these decks or even just more information about zodiac element and planets let me know down below I'd love to help out with any information you need otherwise I'm pretty sure the next video I'm going to post is going to be another goddess provisions unboxing because I should be getting that in the next week or so hopefully <laughs> uh anyway you have a lovely rest of your day bye